And I think that's where God took me. What are you doing here, Stephen? Why are you here again? I mean, you know, of, of all people, you know what you're supposed to do. You know that you need to push away and, and spend some quiet time. Just silence and listen for me to talk to you. And he's coming and saying to me, what are you doing here? I'm not in all of the noise. I'm not in all of the racket that goes around you. If you'll be still and be quiet, then you can hear my whispers. And what I want to do today is I want to help us take a, a spiritual hearing test. I, I want us to look at the busyness of our life and saying, I may be doing good things. I may even be doing good things for God. But am I hearing what he has to say to me? So let me take you back to the beginning. And as you focus, as you focus on the music, the waves, that sound, Close your eyes, just for a moment. Let me ask you some questions. When was the last time God told you to encourage somebody and you did it? When was the last time God showed you that you were wrong and you admitted it? When was the last time God showed you something wrong about someone else, but you needed to show them unconditional grace and forgiveness? When was the last time God told you to stop doing something that wasn't necessarily best, that wasn't necessarily bad, but it wasn't best, and so you stopped it. When was the last time God told you to stop committing a certain sin, and you stopped it? When was the last time God told you to initiate a hard conversation, and you initiated it? When was the last time God told you to take a risk and you took it? When was the last time God told you to give something away and you gave it? Something that you really cared about? Something that mattered to you? When was the last time God told you he loved you? and accepted you and you received it. When was the last time God told you, well done, I am so proud of you. In your mind, can you remember the last time? Can you remember your response? Take a minute now and ask God. Right here, before we start going into the questions, God, will you speak to me right now? Will you put that thought in my head of how you want me to respond, of what you want me to do. And when you make that so clear so that I can share it with the guys around the table and we can pray for each other about that. When was the last time
me. It was last Saturday night. Tracy and I were sitting in an Italian restaurant. Didn't know what we were listening for, but I, I remember what we, we were talking about something. Don't really remember what the co topic was about. But I do remember that in the middle of the conversation, in an Italian restaurant, on a cruise ship, the noise in the background was music, typical Italian music that had been playing the entire time that we were there. And all of a sudden, over the speakers, came a song that blew me away. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. And as I sat there and I heard that song play, I said, that's you, God, that's you. What kind of Italian restaurant plays Amazing Grace? It just doesn't happen. That was God speaking and meeting me right where I was. He just wanted me to know, I love you. I made you the way that you are. I love you and accept you with all of your struggles, with all of your issues, with all the busyness in your life. I love you. So when was the last time? Today, the questions that we're going to talk at the table. John 10 says, my, my sheep hear my voice, <coughs> and they follow me. First, first question. We've just asked the question, when was the last time God told you dot, dot, dot? All those questions that we asked. So if you're at the table, are you hearing God's voice? When was the last time, what was the last thing that he told you? And how did you respond? Second question. If God is speaking all the time, and we're just not listening because we're too busy, and, and we do all get that way, what steps can you take this week to slow down, to get away from all the noise, all the busyness, of life and ask him to speak to you. Share at the tables. If you haven't heard, if you're not hearing, pray together for each other and ask for him to speak. Because he's speaking. He's speaking to us now. And he just wants us to open our eyes and see and open our ears to hear because he's got some incredible things that he wants to share with us. Okay? One, two, three, go. It's a hard question to ask yourself. It's a hard question to actually admit when you can go for a long time and actually say out loud, I haven't heard from God in quite some time. So, God, I think yeah, what we need to do is I think we just really we really need to focus on praying that our hearts can be open. Because remember, hey, anything that we do, anything that we have, anything that we come and offer, we don't do it with love toward each other. We've always got to show love. And I'm so glad to see Matt here this morning. Uh, that was awesome to see him here. God, just very similar to uh, so many others we pursued for a couple years. He just left a few minutes ago. But hey, he's here. If we can show the love at the tables and just embrace these people as they come in, every, every new person that walks in the door, they can just feel the love. That's something that God wants us to do all the time, is to speak softly, embrace them love them and make them feel comfortable 
and make them feel welcome in spite of all of the issues that we all have we always need to show love as I close out today I just I, I wanted to take you to one thing and that was uh, Samuel back in first Samuel he Samuel was living with Eli the priest and late one night he heard a voice that said Samuel Samuel and he got up and he went to the other room and he, talk, he, he woke up Eli and he said, Eli, I'm here. What do you need? And Eli, Eli said, I didn't, I didn't call you. A second time that happened and a second time he came in and said the same thing. He, and then Eli sent him back and he said, next time you hear that voice, say, speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. God may be calling your name. He may be saying your name. And you're walking around and looking around to see who's calling you. Take time this week to say, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Your servant's listening. And see what it is that he has to say. This is what God said to Samuel after he responded. He said, and the Lord said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make the ears of everyone who hears it tingle. The ears of everyone who hears it tingle. I'm praying, God, we will respond in that way so that we will, our ears will tingle with what it is that God has to say. Let me pray.